If you know you want to vibe with your favorite star, don't go nowhere. Hey, yo, Miss G, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right, so this morning, uh, we came by Auntie Monica Kukupom's home. Uh, what we decided to do is we reached out to Wilma Africa, uh, the producers of Fortune Rice and Fritol uh, Sunflower Oil, and they gave us bags of rice. And we thought that Auntie Monica was one of those veterans we could bless in this season. It's a new year, and so we wanted to give her rice so that the entire year she doesn't have to buy rice again. We wanted to give her oil so that the entire year she doesn't have to buy oil again. We wanted to give her seasoning tablet so that the entire year she doesn't have to think of what to season her stew her soup and of course uh, prepare her, her protein with so we came here with the five bags of 4.5 kg rice from fortune rice uh one liter bottle 20 pieces of one liter bottle of uh, fried oil sunflower and of course 60 pieces of uh seasoning tablets also from um wilma africa so this is what we brought to her this morning i'm sure that uh she has some words to share she's here with the entire family we want to all say hello, hello. <laughs> so this is the entire family aunt monica how are you doing uh great i'm doing fine uh, okay so <laughs> this is what we brought to you this morning i don't know what you have to say i just want to thank god for your lives for whoever thought of me and then brought this thing because for a long time you feel like you have been deserted or no nobody wants to see you nobody wants to know they only want to see you on the screen. But I'm so grateful. This is very thoughtful of you and kind of you. I'm grateful that you remembered me. And God will also remember all of you just as you remembered me. Thank you very much. So I'm sure there are a lot of people um, who will be watching the screens by now or be following this conversation will be like, oh, okay, who is this woman? I know you. I've seen you on the screen, maybe because I'm a little older, but a lot of the young generation also will be saying, ah, oh, okay, I never saw her. Maybe you want to introduce yourself all over again to people. Well, okay. Um, uh, Monica, na ayaw kwakupu. I'm a gun. I was born in Accra. <laughs> I schooled in Accra all my life. Well, there was a time I had to go to Asamankesi for a while for schooling because my auntie whom I'm staying with was transferred there. She was a nurse. Okay. She had to go there. But all my life I've been in Accra mm. <laughs> and I've stayed in Accra. Right now, I go to church at Calvary Baptist Church. I'm a Sunday school teacher. Wow. Yeah. And by God's grace, I've been able to bring out, apart from the acting, I brought up, I've been able to bring out um, a gospel music about 10 tracks. Yeah. And I just want to say that it's been, you know, exciting. Mm. You no. Know, being there, you know, but sometimes you feel so sad, you know. It's exciting though. You see so sad when people are not coming to see you. see you, to say hello to you, say, oh, so these people, they only they are only happy when they see you on the screen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> let's, let's go back to the days when you used to act. When did you start acting? Uh, you want to remember how many movies you've done, some of the characters that you played, if you can, you know, bring back those memories to us. Well, uh, I started film, you know, seriously from 91, 1991, yeah. But before then, we were doing, you no, know, even during that time, we were doing um, TV theater, that is Narrow Way Theater, Mama Oye, the director. Mm -hmm. And then we were in, I was in the church with her, and I had, a, uh, I had a talent. So I was teaching the young ones in the church, I teach them how to act and then to write plays and songs and things, you see. And so she was one of the members of uh, the, those children I was teaching at that time. And she completed school. She went to the university and she gave out as you know, a director. I mean, wow. she went to uh, and, uh, African Studies. I mean, uh, university, of Ghana. university of Ghana. And so she said, oh, she's writing her thesis. She's writing certain She said, oh, I know you were my director. But so but I come and say, hey, but you, you've gone to the university. Me, it was just a talent that God has given me. That was just, he said, no problem, you come. So my mom, he called me. And then we started the Narrow Way Theater. Mm. We were doing it. We were doing on a Thursday theater. And then I was with the Narrow Way Theater. And we were doing it on uh, 
that was uh, Ghana Films at that time. We were doing it as a Thursday theater. And then, mm. So on the screen, you no know, people started seeing me. Mm. And then they started calling me. They said they, could, oh, they realized that I could act so well. And most of the roles that I've been playing were um, a motherly role, mm -hmm. once in a while a businesswoman, and there's so many roles. You see, you'll be surprised at, those, at that time that sometimes, sometimes, eh, you'll be on set on three sets. So wow. you had to finish and run them the because the people were yeah. not there. And even though I was young at that time, because I could play the motherly role very well, you no, know, everybody wanted me to come and be a mother on this film, come and be an auntie, come and be a nurse. I mean, they, and the directors were so happy with me. I mean, they love my acting. They love it zeal and everything you know. and as i said during those times it's not the money but it's the love of it i always keep saying it you see we we're not thinking so much of the money but then putting smiles on people's faces and making them happy when they see us you know so we did it and i've done quite a lot of films mm. i did some with uh, abikwe and esther abikwe uh, hm films uh, William Akufo, uh, Safo, I mean, Aidi Koko, the, the directors, and um, a lot of them, just to mention a few. And mostly, the, most of the films at that time were with the Ghana films at that time, Ghana, mm -hmm. Gamma, Gamma. Gamma. Mm -hmm. And then the individuals, directors, too, started calling. The, yes. the, the, and as, as now as I'm telling some people are even owing me. You do oh. that for me, oh, you will not be paid. <laughs> They, 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 they How many years me. now? From 91 up wow, to, to now. People still owe you to now. Oh, they won't come. I will tell you. I don't want to mention names, <laughs> but if I have to mention some of them, it will, you, you, you will see. You see that they've really... And some of that time, I did some adverts, some few adverts I did for MTN. Wow. I did for uh, Maggie something. Some of them to Maruma. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so you know. made some good money back then. It's not so mm -hmm. much, mm -hmm. you know, it's not so much. Mm -hmm. So people were happy with me. And up to now, people kept asking me, when is your film coming out? Mm -hmm. They want to see you. Because my colleagues in Nigeria, whom I were, you know, some came from Nigeria, we were acting with them. Nigeria, wow. some like Eukarya, Ngozi, them, they came to wow. And uh, this man, some day, they, they, oh, they all see. acted with me. We added here in, in Ghana. You will be surprised. I went to London and people there, when they saw, even from when the airport, it has spread all over that day. Yeah, 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 I was there. And I went to a shop, I remember, in Bristol. Uh, I went there, we were shopping with my sister, winter time. And then the people were saying, it's here. Oh, this one says, it's not here. Then my sister said, ah, do anybody know you? I said, no, I don't know anybody. <laughs> and said, then they came, when I smiled, then they said, ah, my God, Joe, look at Gabo, Lenny. <laughs> She's the one, and they were all happy, happy that they've seen me, some were giving me money. Some said, my money is finished, so take some of my shopping. Mm. <laughs> they were giving you know, in London, mm. you'll be surprised. When, mm. And I'll have to be signing the autographs. Autograph. Wow. The, the whites were saying, oh, we start, you know, look, they all came to me. No, it's, it's, it's quite in, it's interesting, I mean, to be a star. But then when you start growing old like this, and you are not seeing anybody even calling to say hello mm. or hi or something, and even they refuse to call you to act again because they feel you are old or something, and they have to make other people's young ones up to make them elderly people. But my colleagues in Nigeria, they are still acting. Because it's still acting. Ukaria is still acting. You see what I mean? It's painful, no. It's very painful that they, 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 they don't have any excuse to give. I'm saying that they don't have any excuse because we are there. By God's grace, some of us, we are strong, you know. But grace and the rest, you know, they are, you know, they were, but like I told you, I started young. But because mm. I could play the motherly yeah. role very well, so, you know, it looks like, you know, I look older and that. Oh, but I'm good. <laughs> how, how old are you now? Oh. <laughs> you don't want to tell us how young, how young you are. So 70. Oh, that's beautiful. You don't look it. No, I don't. I see. But today, today you're here with the entire family. You want to help us introduce them so that we know who and who are here with you. <laughs> okay, this is my brother. Oh, okay, uncle. 
He's uncle. Yeah, we call him <laughs> uncle. <laughs> we call him uncle. Okay. He's my brother. We stay in this house. This is my father's house. Okay. You can imagine. Mm. I start like him. I had to be in my own house and be in my car. I see the throw throw taxi Oh no. You know, it's sad. It's very sad. Sometimes I had to hide myself to you know. But thank God for Uber. You know, mm. and then mm. you what do you call it? Yango. Yango and the mm. rest. Uh, it's so sad. And some of my friends in Nigeria, people buy cars for them, give as a gift. I remember um, this one, McJordan. One of his church members bought a car for him because when they see him sitting in Trotro and he's so popular and people will be shouting and be happy when they see me. And I don't know, Ghana, mm. <laughs> I can't say they don't give. Maybe they don't know. Mm. So right now, even as I'm saying it, <laughs> Somebody should listen so and give yeah. you a car. At least, mm. you know. Something that so can I'll take her around, please. Around, mm. So that I will even be, you know, I will be very much appreciated. <laughs> uh, these are my grandchildren. Oh. They are twins. Big oh, and bushy. I see. Big and bushy. Nice. <laughs> this is a neighbor. Okay. This is a brother too. Okay. A cousin. Oh, hello. A cousin. Okay. Uh, this is my neighbor hairdresser. Okay. She's uh, very good. Yeah. Oh, I see. <laughs> She's very good. She's so the entire her. family is here oh, with most him. Most of them have mm. gone out. Mm. So those around, yeah, uh, those are yeah. just caught. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They've all gone out, you see. And it looks like we are the elderly ones in the house now. So like I'm telling you, some of the films are very sad. Some of them are... When I watch them, I say, oh, did I do this? Oh. <laughs> Something like Fatal Decision, mm. a film I acted in, that particular film. The way I'm all treated and boy, mm. <laughs> mm. throwing, you know, urine at him mm. and then beating mm. him and all that. I said, no. Oh. You know, you'll be surprised. Some of the, um, the, the, the is it, is they are not congregation, they are. Any of the, 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 the those fans or those, those the fans those who came to watch the mm. film. At that time, they were watching the film at uh, Gamma. Okay. So somebody had to throw um, an orange at me. Say, ah, at you? Hey, oh, you are wicked. Why do you do that to that boy? Oh. And they said, so it's acting. Oh. Make him, you know, make, make him, him believe. believe. Mm. Make him believe. Mm. It's not that I just how I am. If you ask my people in the house, I just shout at them and talk <laughs> about it. I don't even beat them. Oh. You see? So some of them are really sad. Some, some, you know, sometimes we let them cry a bit, and mm -hmm. then laugh a bit, you know. So I, I, I see that you miss the screens. You're hoping to get back to the screens oh, anytime soon. Yes, of course. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. I've missed it so much. That, you know, I've learned a lot now, and I think I have to put it in practice, you mm -hmm. know, and you know do it because I read a lot. I have a sister in the state, she sends me the book and I know even though I, no, I've not gone to no acting school. Acting school and everything because I read a lot about them and I read out they, they know you know when they get the role, what they do and how they come in. Yeah. So that has helped me a lot and now I think I can do better, I can do more, I can do beautifully on the screen. But it's just as our producers and our directors, I don't know, they are not seeing, they are not asking. They are not, and it's like, as for me, they have been in the background, oh. nobody remembers me. Mm -hmm. So people with my family members will call me and say that, oh, how is it that we are seeing, uh, maybe my doctor or Grace, and we don't see you, you were acting with them at that time. I said, no problem, mm -hmm. at, at God's own time, mm -hmm. I'll be remembered. And I thank God you have remembered me. Uh, it's, it's not easy. No though where we are trusting God for everything you know um, one thing is that me I always kept saying if the government could help the directors and the producers see they will do better they will do good because in other countries like Nigeria they are helping them they are giving them loan loan to do it and then just as so many people wanted to see me on the screen, they will, they will be seeing me because by all means, one somebody will remember me and call me and mm. come to, you know, bring out what is in inside. me, inside me, and uh, to the glory of God because it is God who gave me those talent, did that talent, you see. But I thank God that I didn't just rest and sit there. But then, uh, by God's grace, as I pray, by inspiration, that songs, came, you know, kept coming. And I have 30 songs, wow. but I've been able to bring only, no, gospel, okay. 10, out and 
very soon. I don't know if I can get somebody to produce. <laughs> I'm sure through this conversation we'll get a producer. I'm sure all the movie people are also watching and knowing that Auntie Monica is hale and hearty and she's ready to pick up scripts and ready to act. So I'm sure that through all these uh, conversations, some people, hopefully and by God's grace, will reach out to you. Yes, I'll be very grateful. I'll be very happy because I love to. I'm still strong, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much for having us this morning. We are very, very grateful to you. And uh, we wish you all the best. And from time to time, we'll make sure that we check up on you. Oh, yes, please do. Because I need it. <laughs> all right, thank you so much. If you know you want to vibe with your favorite star, don't go nowhere. Hey, yo, Miss G, let's go. Let's go.